five years ago, I never would have imagined I'd be up here presenting a speech to a distinguished club such as this. Oh, I'm going to need a minute to take it all in. Okay. Good evening to all my fellow Toastmasters. To begin, I would like to quote the wise words of Percy Jackson. Deadlines just aren't real to me until I'm staring one in the face. However, the absence of one is a much worse fate, I would say. God knows how many times I put this off just because I was lazy. But regardless, here we are with me up here trying my best not to pass up. As Toastmaster Rochelle kindly stated, my name's Tenuka. And out of sheer spontaneity, I joined Toastmasters to experience new things. But as a prospect, I gained many goals and aspirations I hope to achieve during my period here. But before I move on to my goals and aspirations, I would like to talk to you all about one of my most favorite topics, myself. Well, for starters, I was born at a very young age, and I received my primary and secondary education at one of the best colleges in Colombo, St. Joseph's College of Maradana. And if I was to describe myself in one word, I would say spontaneous. Plans never work. And even if I was to make a plan, I would tend to forget about it and do it my own way. Is this self-destructive? Probably. Am I going to do anything about it? No. <laughs> when I was asked to start on my icebreaker, I was fully ready to ace this until I started to work on it. My, my mentor, Toastmaster Salomi, who unfortunately could not be here today, was always pushing me to finish it, and I'd always lie to her and tell her that I was at the conclusion, when in reality, I haven't even thought of starting it. And, well, anyways, so I'm sorry, Toastmaster Salomi, but eventually here I am. So I went through my toast, I went through the speech material, right? And I was told that I was to talk about myself, and my first thought was, gosh, I don't want to scar these people. Maybe I should lie and try to seem sane. But then I decided not because that would be boring. <laughs> okay, okay so, so let me start off with a very fond memory of mine to let you all know about how I made myself who I am. So back when I was a little tenuka, I used to be very shy and scared of talking to people. And I, and I keep to myself. I not and I won't talk to anyone until I met this notorious friend group in middle school, and that's when things changed. <laughs> okay, so one day we had parents teacher meeting, right? And now my mom, who thought that I was this really quiet kid in school, went up to my teacher and was like, "Teacher, I know my son can be quiet, and I'm afraid he won't make any friends." And okay, mind you, at this time, I was starting off to be this menace at school. And you should have seen my teacher's face. Tenuga, quiet, she screamed. And, to, and, and ever since that day, she always bugged me about it every time I made a small ruckus in school. But this was a very, but this was a defining moment for me. It showed that I came out of my shell and that I was able to present myself to society. Regardless, being this menace at school, ever since my turn to the dark side, I'd say life has been so much more enjoyable. Sure, I get in trouble every once in a while. My parents had to rush to school once a month to meet the principal. But regardless, I had my fun. Imagine being an obedient, good student. Boring. Well, I, well, being a menace in school, I'd say was one of the most enjoyable things in my life. And looking back on it, feels like it's so much glee. And my parents would say the opposite, but hey. Eh. So I had this brother, okay? Real goody two shoes, through and through. And it's so funny. When my teachers, when my old teachers come up to me and they're like, I can't believe the two of you are related. He's so good. Like just tell me he's boring and move on. Anyways, as you can see, my goal in life is to not be boring, is to stand out from the ordinary. People that are spontaneous and are willing to do anything capture my heart. A saying that I always keep at heart is it is what it is. Take life for what it is and make the best of it. Now I wouldn't say I'm an infantual person, but through being this menace to society, there is one thing that I have learned, is that if you are willing to be spontaneous and take an uncalculated leap into the unknown, 
life becomes so much more worth living throw caution to the wind seize the day people aren't supposed to be controlled by their own thoughts let go of control live life a little find what sparks joy and live in the now talk about yourself and you popped up talking about your mother which indeed portrayed that your life is not different from your mother it is so attached that you can't even talk about yourself without talking about your mother so that was the very first point which i loved about your speech being a girl i am very close to my mother than my father so it indeed hit my heart to the deep and coming from that hardest part of your life to where you end up ended up in a very successful way i really love how you build it up your speech so that was the second point which i loved about your speech is your flow you had a very nice beginning where you started with a mother who's a similar who had similarities with your own mother then you came up with a story about how your mother changed your life and what you got from her then you ended up saying a message that we normally used to scold our mothers we used to be harsh when you said that itself i was like yes i found it there yesterday that hit so everyone here in the audience was able to relate your speech to their own mother isn't it my dear toastmasters we were at the verge of tears when you were finishing the speech and the third point i loved your loving your speech was your vocal variation being a very good speaker as to toastmaster kaif i really know how your voice is vibrant and powerful enough to convince the entire audience to the mood of your speech your sorrow your hardship and your accomplishments along with your mother's accomplishment was very well established throughout your speech and we were able to easily get what you were trying to tell and with all these good points and I would like to mention two points of improvement in your speeches. I saw you were walking throughout your speech, so this might sometimes be annoying for the audience to listen to the speech. So what you can do is you can break your speech into three main parts or four main parts, the parts you want to be. Then you can start your speech at the center. Then you can move to your right to tell one story. Then come to the middle, tell the second part of your story. Go to the other part, get corner to go for the third part, and finally come to the middle and finish off your speech. So this method we call it as an A B C D method, A B C method, which all speakers can follow. And the second point is to avoid colloquial language. I know you were really emotional when you were speaking, but let's make sure since it's Toastmaster, we need to be a little official. So let's uh, try to avoid colloquial language, and otherwise. Your speech was one of the best icebreaker speech I have ever heard in my Toastmaster journey up to now, Toastmaster Kai. With that, you have done justice to your icebreaker, and congratulations in completing your icebreaker. And I would love all the members to give up a standing ovation in order for Toastmaster Kai finishing his speech.